So there's some rumors going around that Queen Niger is not letting Chris Sell see CJ because of a bridge. Basically being implied that CJ is being abused. As you guys know, I love debunking rumors. I did it with Carmen when she got accused of cheating on Corey. So what we're gonna do is go through everything, see if it's true or if it's not true. So let's get straight into the drama. Okay, so there's a Twitter page that's been on a couple of T channels. It's basically Im implying that Queen Niger has been neglecting CJ. Here's some of the stuff that the Twitter page has posted. Y'all talk about Chris and say he do this and that. Queen also smokes weed and drink. Oh my f***ing God! She better at hiding it. She can't clean it and plans on trapping him again. Don't care what y'all say, she neglects CJ and he is easily irritates her. Not only that, She's allowing Clarence to pimp her son out. You're wrong. Most of the time, CJ, he's sheltered in his room. He's emotionless in his videos they post. And the only thing they tell him to do is dance. When Chris FaceTime his son, CJ's full of excitement and he has all these cool stories to tell his dad. CJ has a bruise that may or may have not been an accident. That's why he hasn't been allowed to see daddy. That's the tea for you. Clarence feel like he don't have to do nothing for CJ because that's not his real kid. Now I believe last month or near the start of this month, Clarence's older brother passed away. Somehow drama came out of that because Chris Sells posted a picture of his son saying that he misses him. I miss you and love you so much. It breaks my heart I can't see you. I feel like a horrible father to be honest. Daddy have a lot of growing up to do. Facts. I made mistakes but that's what makes life beautiful. You're my world and my heart. I think about you every day, every second, every minute. I can't wait to be next to you, baby. Now, a lot of people felt sympathy for Chris, but a lot of people were bashing Chris. They were saying, He definitely did this because Claire's brother just died and he obviously seen y'all post it. This is not the time, Chris. I don't think Chris did this because Clarence's brother died and wanted some attention on him or whatever. And personally, I feel like Chris can post whatever he wants. During that, and because of all that, that anonymous Twitter page seems to be really defending Chris Sells, and this is what she said. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm not a follower or a fan of Chris. I'm just not on the hate chain. Same dumb stuff y'all hate Chris for is the same stuff that goes on in the royal family house. Queen is a beauty. Queen smokes weed. Queen drink. Queen has fornication. Ew. It's very interesting for this person to use the word fornication. Is this done purposely to dig at Queen because Queen is religious? Or is this person behind their account religious and having a religious moral high ground instead of two adults decided to do something and a reaction happened from that something? She also said this. That's why I don't understand how Queen claims she's a black woman and she should post BLM. But you don't let your young black son have the relationship with his father. She's scared because she knows CJ will talk. CJ even said before he wanted to live with Chris. She claims that they ditch CJ and go out with Legend. She'll ditch CJ somewhere, take Legend and be out with Clarence. And I will call her out and find a YouTuber to drop these vids. How about you tell people about the brute CJ had, or how you had him in the room the whole day with Legend on the iPad while y'all was getting turned. Now this escalated more because Alti O'Shea saw this, and this is what they posted. Now some people are trying to figure out how this person's getting this information, if it's accurate or not. She ends up saying, I have one son. I don't look at nobody's social media page for information. It's given to me. So any information that was given to us by the source, I had to make sure everything adds up. I never watched most YouTube and I still don't. I have my personal opinion about Queen Yes, and I have facts about Queen Yes. Nothing is speculation. <laughs> Now at some point, so many people were talking about it that Queen Nigel finally responded. Oh, uh, this is false, well, but whoever behind this account should just write a fiction book so they can get paid for lying. 
Queen Naja ended up blocking Old CEO Shay. Old CEO Shay said, Well, that was quick block. Oh, okay. We never said we believe the allegations. Just that we post every celebrity or public figure. This is our job. Okay, so let's get into my conclusion. Hey said, my secret sauce. As soon as she said that, I was like, oh my god, this is the same bullshit that TNK said. And we already found out who the source was. If you don't know who the source was, you can go check out my old videos. Next time, subscribe with notification. And damn, you wouldn't be missing out, man. But on a real note, I don't know what source she's talking about. But I have been following this page when I, I don't know if she first started because some of you guys were in my DM on Twitter telling me to have a look but she had made so many empty promises saying she will release that release this and she never does she's basically blowing smoke she also deleted a lot of her tweets which is very suspect a lot of people caught her up in lies apparently according to other people I am yet to see what she contradicted herself in in those past tweets because again she deleted them which is very suspect to me. She claims that this information is passed on by a source. Maybe a source is feeding her booze. But anyway, we found a video where CJ actually had a bruise. Just because someone has a bruise, you cannot rule that out as that person is getting abused by their parents. Now, my team had reached out to this Twitter account. She claims that she wants to put everything in video format. Then she asked if the person who's my, my journalist is my editor. So I'm assuming she probably wants an editor to edit her videos. But yeah, she's just basically been ignoring the messages so far from my journalist. She hasn't gave any proper evidence at all to back up her claim. Someone with a high moral ground because they want to talk fornication, right? I'm pretty sure if they had proof that CJ was abused, they would have gone to CPS by now and CPS would have took CJ away. And there are a lot of cases when CPS checks and they don't do a proper job, but if you know for certain that something is happening, and Queen is abusive and all this stuff, and there's evidence, I'm pretty sure CJ wouldn't be in the hands of Queen. Now, Clarence has a video called Me and CJ's First Fight. By CJ's body language, it doesn't look like he's in a situation where he's in an abusive household or in a, an abusive family. He seems very genuinely happy to be around Clarence. Another video called No More Royal Family. And again, CJ seems very comfortable, very happy. Chris also did a video recently calling CJ, and in the video, CJ seemed happy. You, you want to come see daddy? Did you tell mommy you want to see daddy? Oh, what's he got? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So to me, CJ's happy. CJ's happy where he is. People are speculating and doing the most and are reaching. <laughs> Honestly, I feel this page loves their attention. They have no evidence to back up what they have. There have been so many times when they said they will expose this, expose that, and they never do. Now let's go deeper. And this is very important as well if you see someone who's abused. So here are the signs of someone who has been physically abused. Unexplained black eyes, broken bones, bruises, bites or burns, injuries that may reveal a pattern, for example, more than one burn or welts on the, on the hand, protesting or crying when it's time to go to a particular location, whether home or school or another place where abuse might occur, appearing to be frightened of a specific individual, being watchful as if expecting something unpleasant to happen, flinching when touched, Wearing inappropriate clothing, for example, long sleeves in summer to cover up injuries. Talking about being injured by a parent, caregiver, or other person. Pretty sure if CJ was in an abusive household, he would have told Chris by now. Some of you guys are going to go over there and feed that caca energy. That's okay. You do you. But honestly, people like that are people that just love the attention of feeding negative bullshit. There is yet again no proof, no evidence of anything that this person has claimed. So far, everything's false and she's full of it. There is either speculations or stuff that people already spoken about before regarding clearance, for example. Hey okay, guys, that's what I have for you today. Definitely let me know what you think in the comment section below. Slash that like button and I'll see you guys in another drama video.